Hi folks, the Filipina P here. And today I'm gonna tackle a subject that you won't hear much about anywhere else. And I'll be dropping a whole lot of truth bombs on a topic that affects more of you than you might think. Just like the ladyboy phenomenon, there's another subculture that exists just beneath the surface of our society, often in plain sight. We call them tomboys, but it means something entirely different than the Western definition. In the Philippines, a tomboy is a woman who prefers other women. But when dealing with Filipinas, it can be very difficult for you guys to tell who's who. Which team do you play for? You might think you've hit a home run when you find the perfect girl online, but it may turn out that there are already some other players in her dugout that might be missing some basic equipment. You know, I really thought you were a ball player. Well, you were wrong. I've heard from a surprising number of you guys who think you found a Filipina unicorn, only to realize that she's not even interested in men and just using you for a variety of reasons. Well, I'm here to tell you the warning signs to look out for, how to tell if you're being played, and what to do if one of these tomboys throws you a curveball. Game's getting pretty exciting. Now before we begin, let me state the obvious by explaining that not all tomboys are out to deceive men by entering into fake relationships that are doomed from the start. And I strongly believe that we should let people live lives that are natural for them. But when deception and manipulation enter the game, some of you guys need the new playbook to know what you're up against. The first question you might ask is why would a Filipina who's only interested in other women present herself as a heterosexual? The obvious answer is that she's wanting to extract resources from you, just like any other scammer. The financial temptations are the same no matter which team she plays for. There's lots of money to be made from tricking foreigners into believing they have something real, when to them, it's all a game. They're hoping that you'll be distracted by the pitcher's mound and take your eyes off the ball. It'll be the same old story. You and she start chatting. And the next thing you know, you're buying load for her phone and helping out with bills. But it never stops there. She'll try to get you to increase her salary when you haven't even seen how she handles a bat. But any of you that watch my channel know that I advise you not to send money of any kind, a strategy that will protect you from this sort of thing. That's good advice. Thanks, Tom. But there are other reasons why a tomboy might target a foreign man, both over the internet and in person too. As strange as this may sound, it can also be a form of revenge. When a woman breaks up with another woman, the one that got dumped will sometimes date a man next, as if to say, well, I was on the wrong team the whole time. It's considered an insult and a slap in the face to her ex but it's the unwitting man who slept stranded on base. Another reason she might try to be something she's not is because of guilt. In a heavily Catholic country, there can be an incredible pressure to conform, but her miraculous conversion isn't likely to stick for long. Then there's the eternal quest for validation, where a woman just wants to see what she's worth on the open market. She pretends she's a free agent to see how many other people are interested in her talent. And the easiest way to do that is to try her luck on social media sites to see who she can attract. But it won't be long before she's back to playing with her old team. And maybe it's just curiosity. She might never have dated a man and wants to see what all the fuss is about. Maybe she's never been to third base with a member of the opposing team and just wants to give it a try. Now, sledding to home plate might be your goal, but you may find out that she's a one-hit wonder who's not really impressed with your equipment. It just got too hard. Then there's that Asian desire for status. Just the fact that she can claim she's dating a foreigner will cause her social status to triple. She might even set up a separate Facebook account featuring the two of you that she can show like a portfolio to the right people at the right time. And one of those people might be her coach also known as mom. Because there's another benefit to tricking a foreigner and pleasing the management, family acceptance. Family members who might have been wondering about the trajectory of her career in the majors will be fooled too. 
and be overjoyed to see that she's no longer in the Bush League. And now we come to the sneakiest and most despicable reason of all why a tomboy might want to scam a guy by entering into a fake relationship. What better way to please mom and the rest of the clan than to play a perfect game by having a mixed baby? If she can get a baby out of you with one swing, she's increased her status, gotten her family off her back, thrilled her mom, and maybe gotten a pay raise in the form of child support from a foreigner, you. It's a grand slam. And that's why I always say keep your bat wrapped. One moment of unprotected passion can lead to a lifetime financial burden from a child you won't even get to see much. So now that we've talked about why this happens, let me help you prevent it. I've been contacted by a lot of you guys that say their online Filipino girlfriend just seems a little off base. She says she loves you and can't wait to be with you, but you just smell that something's not quite right and you're getting some really confusing signs. Well, I'm here to help you look for clues. And the first thing you can do is examine her Facebook account. Look closely at the pictures you find and see if you can detect the presence of a really close female friend, a friend that appears in almost all her photos. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a best friend, but if you find a lot of uncomfortably mushy communications between them, it might be time to take a second look. You might assume it's a cultural difference, but in many cases, it's not. And look for kids too while you're at it. Be particularly suspicious if she always seems to be holding her cousin's baby, almost like she's taking care of it or something. Just make sure you see her cousin holding the child sometimes too. And then the other thing to look for is the way she dresses in the photo she sends you compared with the way she's dressed in her social media pics. She might climb up a bit in the photos for your consumption, but how does she dress around her friends? If the answer is short hair, sunglasses, caps, and loose shirts, it might just look like climate-appropriate attire. But we Filipinos know what we're looking at. And if you throw in a few masculine mannerisms, what you probably got is a switch hitter. Not too long ago, I was contacted for advice by a subscriber who wound up engaged to a Filipina he'd never met after a year of chatting online. As usual, the relationship had turned into him sending her money on a regular basis, but she seemed to be less interested in communicating day to day like she used to. He also noticed that she seemed to be dressing differently and hanging out constantly with her friend. There weren't any more fun video chats if you know what I mean and she seemed to be taking him for granted. He contacted me, I told him what to look for, and sure enough, he finally found a separate Facebook account with all sorts of lovey-dovey pictures of her and her girlfriend, along with a baby of unknown origin. After many denials and many crocodile tears, she finally confessed that she just needed money and tricking him, and probably many others, was the easiest way to get it. After another month of wondering how to handle the situation, the man wisely decided to break things off completely. Hopefully, he learned his lesson. You've seen the error of your ways. No, I just can't afford it. <laughs> so the question becomes, what to do about it when your girlfriend's real identity comes to light? Now, some guys who are only looking for a hit and run or casual hookup might not be concerned with anyone's team affiliation. I care. But for you guys who are looking to make a lasting connection and find true love, my advice is that as soon as you find out you're dating a tomboy, don't try to change your mind or work things out. Just give her an intentional walk right out of your life. Because the tactics of these deceitful women can mess with your head and empty your wallet. So do you have to worry about evil tomboys now too? Not any more than all the other dangers that are lurking for you in the Philippines. Tomboys are just like everybody else. There's good ones and bad ones. But as long as you know the rules, you'll be able to find the sweet spot in your dating game and leave these women in a league of their own. Well, that's it for today.
And I'll be back in just a few days with something really special. I guarantee it. Till next time, folks. If you think about it, I'm kind of like Pocahontas, who bridged the gap between two very different cultures and tried to bring peace and understanding to both sides, while at the same time, dating a foreigner. All that I ask for my diplomatic efforts is that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. And while you're here, check out some of my other videos too. And no, you can't poke my hauntas.